Welcome to the video that I've entitled A Much Too Quick Overview of the Life and Work of Julia Kristeva, Structured Around Kristeva's Influences, as well as Five Key Themes of Her Work, The Semiotic and the Symbolic, Abjection, Intertextuality, The Maternal Function, and The Powers of Horror. This video was written, produced, and is presented by me, Andrew Chapman. Julia Kristeva is a Bulgarian-French philosopher, literary critic, and psychoanalyst whose work has had a significant impact on a range of disciplines, including linguistics, semiotics, feminism, and psychoanalysis. Born in Bulgaria, Kristeva moved to Paris in 1965, where she became associated with the Tel Kel group of writers and intellectuals. She has since become one of the most influential thinkers of her generation, known for her groundbreaking contributions to the study of language, culture, and the human psyche. Julia Kristeva was born in 1941 in Slyvan, Bulgaria, to a Bulgarian father and a Russian mother. She studied literature and linguistics at the University of Sofia before moving to Paris in 1965 to continue her studies at the École Pratique des Hautes Études. In Paris, she became associated with the Tel Kel group of writers and intellectuals which included Roland Barthes, Jacques Derrida, and Michel Foucault, among others. She also began training as a psychoanalyst, studying with Jacques Lacan and eventually becoming a member of the École Freudienne de Paris. Kristeva's work is influenced by a wide range of philosophical and literary traditions, including structuralism, post-structuralism, psychoanalysis, and feminism. Her early work on semiotics and linguistics drew on the theories of Ferdinand de Saussure and Roman Jacobson while her later work on psychoanalysis and the maternal function drew on the ideas of Sigmund Freud and Melanie Klein. Kristeva was also influenced by feminist writers such as Simone de Beauvoir and Luce Irigaray, whose work challenged traditional notions of gender and sexuality. Kristeva's distinction between the semiotic and symbolic modes of language is one of her most influential contributions to linguistic and literary theory. She argues that the semiotic mode, which is associated with bodily rhythms and sensations, is the basis for the development of language, while the symbolic mode is a system of conventions and rules that govern language use. Kristeva suggests that the tension between these two modes is the source of creative energy in literature and art. Kristeva's concept of abjection refers to the feeling of revulsion and rejection that arises when we are confronted with something that disturbs the boundaries between the self and other. This can include bodily fluids, waste, or anything that threatens to destabilize our sense of identity and order. Kristeva argues that the experience of abjection is fundamental to the formation of subjectivity, as it forces us to confront the limits of our own existence and the fragility of the boundaries between self and other. Kristeva's theory of intertextuality emphasizes the ways in which all texts are interconnected, drawing on a network of cultural references and symbolic systems. According to Kristeva, Every text is made up of fragments of other texts, which are reworked and transformed in the act of writing. This theory has been influential in literary and cultural studies as it challenges traditional notions of authorship and originality. Kristeva's work on the maternal function explores the role of mothering and nurturing in the formation of human subjectivity. She argues that the maternal function is not limited to biological mothers, but can be embodied by anyone who takes on a caregiving role. Kristeva suggests that the experience of being cared for and nurtured is essential to the development of the self, and that this function has been historically devalued in patriarchal societies. In her book, Powers of Horror, an essay on abjection, Kristeva explores the relationship between abjection, the body, and the formation of subjectivity. She argues that the experience of abjection is a necessary part of the process of subject formation, as it involves the rejection of something that threatens the boundaries between the self and the other. 
According to Kristeva, the experience of abjection is a way of confronting the limits of our own existence, and it can be a source of creative energy and renewal. Julia Kristeva's work has had a profound impact on a range of disciplines, including literary and cultural studies, linguistics, philosophy, and psychoanalysis. Her theories of the semiotic and symbolic modes of language, intertextuality, and the maternal function have been influential in the fields of linguistics and literary theory, challenging traditional notions of language and subjectivity. Her work on abjection and the powers of horror has had a significant impact on the study of the body and subject formation, and her contributions to feminist theory have challenged traditional notions of gender and sexuality. Kristeva's work has also been influential in the development of post-structuralism and deconstruction, which have become important theoretical frameworks for a range of disciplines. Her interdisciplinary approach to the study of culture and language has inspired generations of scholars to explore the ways in which language, culture, and subjectivity are interconnected. In addition to her scholarly work, Kristeva has also been an important public intellectual, speaking out on a range of political and social issues, including feminism, multiculturalism, and the role of the intellectual in society. Her work has inspired a generation of scholars and activists to explore the ways in which language, culture, and subjectivity intersect with broader political and social issues. In conclusion, Julia Kristeva's life and work represent a significant contribution to the fields of linguistics, literary theory, and psychoanalysis. Her theories of the semiotic and symbolic, abjection, intertextuality, the maternal function, and the powers of horror have had a profound impact on a range of disciplines and have challenged traditional notions of language, culture, and subjectivity. Kristeva's interdisciplinary approach to the study of culture and language has inspired generations of scholars to explore the complex and dynamic relationships between language, culture, and subjectivity. Her legacy continues to influence the development of post-structuralism, feminist theory, and cultural studies. Thanks for watching this video, which I entitled A Much Too Quick Overview of the Life and Work of Julia Kristeva, structured around Kristeva's influences as well as five key themes of her work, the semiotic and the symbolic, abjection, intertextuality, the maternal function, and the powers of horror. This video was written, produced, and presented by me, Andrew Chapman.